I really wonder what's going on over at AT AT&T and Warner and HBO Max. You know, these are all ran by different groups. There isn't one like board that overlooks everything going on to AT&T Warner. AT&T, though, is the boss. They're the ones that bought Warner. So I really wonder what's going on over there because they have to be looking at the Snyder Cut of Justice League and thinking like, this is bringing in big money. It's grown HBO Max. That's the the big news out of today. According to Bloomberg here, the Warner Media streaming platform recorded an 8.9% jump in users launching its mobile app according to Bloomberg's analysis of Aptopia Data. Director Zack Snyder crafted a reimagined 4-hour version of Justice League whose original 2017 cut Completed by a different director, disappointed some fans. The Snyder Cut premiered March 18th on HBO Max. For the week ended March 28th, downloads of the HBO Max app rose 64% for the top increase. Dazen app downloads showed the biggest decline. And here's the data right here from Aptopia, HBO Max. 8.9% 8.9% change, 1.48 million downloads. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. All because of the Snyder Cut, HBO Max has seen an increase in, user, in users and downloads. Now, I pointed out last week in a video that the movie outperformed Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now, it's no mistake that Marvel chose to launch that show one day after the premiere of Justice League. They did that as competition. There's nothing wrong with friendly competition. But that's 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 why they did that. And it outperformed it. It beat it. Now, you know, they could have gloated if that had beat this movie. And he said, yeah, look at that. This movie, you know, they wanted this movie for years, but we outperformed it. That didn't happen. They outperformed the Marvel movie. Uh, There's a lot of people praising this. If you look at the numbers over on Rotten Tomatoes, you see a pretty impressive audience score sitting at 95%. That's 25,000 plus ratings too, by the way. Uh, This movie is very loved. People like it. And I'm someone who isn't even a big Snyder DC Universe fan, but this movie turned that around for me. I liked the Justice League a lot. I really did. Not the original. I liked the Snyder version of it. The original is pile of trash. I can see why you would want to do a reboot after that, but they put this out. I don't think that they realized. I don't think that they realized just how well this movie was going to do. And the big thing about this movie now is you have word of mouth driving it. Okay. You've got a lot of positive buzz. This has the potential to be a really, really big thing. And If you were a smart business, you would pause your plans and maybe consider moving this forward. I mean, it's it's pushing HBO Max up to greatness. And it's only the momentum for this is going to keep going because don't forget tomorrow, Kong versus Godzilla or Godzilla versus Kong. I don't remember which order. I'm very excited for that movie. Comes HBO Max tomorrow. So like the momentum for that app service starts now. I I hope they put a big dent in Disney, to be honest. The Warner has its problems too. Uh, But I think Disney is the worser of the two evils here, if you want my opinion. But this is a huge success. Uh, I know there's some people out there trying to spin that this is a disaster. I disagree. I think this has been an amazing hit for HBO Max. And there's a lot of evidence to push that. The other day, Restore the Snyderverse hit 1.1 million tweets, which is amazing. Also, the re-released Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Edition, the new 4K disc that has a proper 4K remaster, uh, that is still sold out everywhere. I can, st- I still cannot find it. I still have to wait till like April 26th to get that from Amazon. It's sold out physically everywhere. So... To me, there's a lot going on here, and I'm really shocked that Warner 
is still going to move forward, pretty much erasing this from existence. Now, this is from Bounding into Comics. Uh, the rumor is that Flashpoint could wipe away the Snyderverse from DCEU canon. This isn't just a rumor to me. This is fact. This has always been in the cards. Ever since Flashpoint was announced, it was always being kind of pushed, not so much, you know, in the mainstream, but the big rumors coming out of it were, okay, well, we, we had this disastrous Justice League movie, talking about the Whedon cut. Uh, we need, we still want to move forward, but we're going to go ahead and need to reboot because we messed up. So they're going to use Flashpoint, which if you don't know the story of this, though I'm sure all of you know by now because a lot of people have covered this, uh, Flashpoint is a comic book event in the DC Comics universe where the Flash goes back in time to save his mother. This creates a disastrous new universe. Then he goes back in time again to fix it, and this launched the New 52. So they're basically taking this idea... And using it to reboot the DC EU. Now, the problem here is now you have seen what Zack Snyder's vision was, and a lot of people want to move forward with that, uh, but they're being stubborn and saying, now we're going to keep to what we're doing. We have this whole woke initiative. This is what's going to bring in the real money. We want to bring in the woke money, uh, even though that never effing happens. Uh, big problems with this movie, by the way, Michael Keaton, apparently not so on board. I really don't see this movie being anywhere near the hype it had without him because we all know that draft exists that has Michael Keaton, though. I think that they're, I think he, cause he's saying he doesn't think he's going to do it. Comes down to the last draft. Dude's trying to get a sizable, sizable payday to do this. Uh, they've, put themselves in they put themselves in such a position that they have to they have to get him no matter what it costs. Um but you know I, I'm just disappointed in this. I have this pulled up. It says rumor, but it's it's not rumor. It's for sure gonna happen. This is why they're bringing Ben Affleck back for a cameo because he's going to be wiped away and they're bringing him in there just kind of as a you know a way to connect this to what's come before it so that they can reboot it. And I think this is a dumb decision. If you're going to do the multiverse, you can still do that and keep the Snyder vision intact. And it's baffling to me that when you see how successful that this has been for the company, that you just piss it away. It doesn't make any sense. But then again, a lot of things that companies doing don't make much sense now do it anyway. It really is like that scene out of the dark night where the Joker's burning all of that money. And he says it's more about the message than the money. But anyway, uh, if you haven't watched this yet, I highly recommend you go check it out. You can watch it in parts. You don't have to watch it in one setting. You can, it's, it's pretty much set up like a TV show, even though it isn't. But anyway, uh, that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys all on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.